Hey up viewers, how y'all doing this fine day? Zenny here, bringing you a new series I've decided to call GWD Domination, which will be a challenge involving obtaining all of the unique GWD items on the live game, both coin share and loot share, at least once. In the background you can see a clip of me and Kin fighting Kree along with some clan mates, with a surprise drop at the end of the video, so feel free to watch it, either for tips on how to do our metal GWD or just for fun. In this video I'll be showing you what I've already gotten over my bossing career as it were, and what there is left for me to get, both for the coin share and loot share parts of the challenge. I will be excluding Nex, even though I have gotten a few coin share drops from her, because I don't go there often and when I do, I always use coin share. Okay, so for the coin share, as expected, I've gotten most of the available drops, some much more often than others. For instance, I must have gotten around 20 Bandos items over the course of my RS career, but on the other hand, I've only ever gotten one Sarah item. I'll be showing you guys screenies of one of each of the items when I receive their splits on coin share. So in the upcoming episodes, I'll be doing some GWD trips with commentary in the hope of getting an unobtained drop, firstly in the coin share category, namely the Saradaman Hilt, which is rumored to be extremely rare anyway Sai, the Armadil chest plate and chain skirt, and the Bandos Tacits and Hilt which is weird because I've killed the Bandos and Armadil bosses so many more times than the Zami or Sarah bosses. Anyway, this Arma helmet drop was after a long dry run back in the early summer of 2011, and as always, was a troll drop, but at least it was like 4 mil at the time. Next up, the prized Armadil hilt drop, the highest split of my career to date, which is why me and my friend were going mad here. It was an amazing feeling at the time, I'd roll my eyes at it now though lol, nah jk, I'd still be happy, only thing is even a solo hilt now wouldn't be worth as much as that split, soon to be useless thanks to the beta. Bandos boots up next, as we all know, it's the worst of the GWD items both in terms of cash and trowling, in fact my first ever GWD item non-coin shared was a pair of Bandos boots. The next one I've gotten so many of that I've lost count, the Bandos chest plate first, a nice 3.8M right there for the chest plate, but just to make this clear, for some reason I have no screening of a tacit split yet I've gotten so many of them, so I guess that'll have to be something I have to get in the upcoming episodes, possibly one of the less worrisome ones. This SS drop was a relief more than a lucky success, because I hadn't got a single Saradaman drop or split ever with over 18 months of GWD under my belt now, and one of my friends happened to be there, a first time Sarah God Wars Dunger, the lucky sad. I dread to think how long I'll have to wait for a Sarah Hilt drop. Next up, another troll drop, the Steam Battle Staff on a Slayer task, which I've gotten so many of as well. Surprisingly, the Zamorakian Spear drop has been quite common, but just to prove the point about my horrendous luck at times, this particular duo split was when it was at its lowest ever price, still, one of my first few GWD drops, with Kimon when he had to brew up to 700 LP to get into the Zami area. The Zami hilt was a long time coming, but it was nonetheless a mediocre drop given its price and the fact that we were a 5 man team at the time. I enjoyed it though, hopefully a solo hilt isn't too far away. The shards had been so common when coin sharing almost trolling us into thinking that it's gonna be a big, juicy split coming our way, but still enjoyable. This first shard from Zami was from a minion. I've got a lot more of the second piece in CS, this particular one with a random team from the forums, at Bandos. The third one was with my friends at Bandos. Onto the LS and here's where the fun really begins. As I became more advanced and better as a boss killer, I began to solo more and more, as well as LS and FFA more. I apologize for forgetting to screeny the drops when they're dropped, but at least there's the trusty old adventurer's log. First up, the Armadil helmet drop, nothing special there. Next, the Armadil chain skirt, which I must admit I trialed my friends with, because one of them was saying that we'd get the Arma hilt but although we didn't, the chain skirt first kill before CS turned on was good enough for a troll he thinks. Oh the joy of trolling Hayahaya. 
Anyway, I'm afraid I must admit that the armadillo chest plate has evaded me, for no apparent reason. It's probably because that I've gotten so many chain scarfs and seen three armadillo hilt drops. Talking of which, right here is a solo armadillo hilt drop that I got quite recently, which I didn't expect at all, but hey, it was worth 20 odd mil at the time. I haven't sold it actually, I want to make an armadillo godsword from scratch but you'll soon know why I can't yet, even though I'm excruciatingly close. On to bandos. And here's one place I won't have to go on my own again. Because it's just a festival of 5 second kills and tons of loot. Right here you can see a screeny of a tacit's drop, and here now you can see how I got a bandos boots drop on the same trip, just that I couldn't be bothered to screenshot it. The BCP solo was a good story actually, I was on a quick chat world and got crashed by some noobs, when I managed to get one of the kills and snipe a BCP. I trialed them to death using QC and eventually they tailed. Now this next one is an example of how bad trolling can be to the victim. Came and snipe a bandos healed in a trip that had like 70 kills and this was the only drop. Yeah, I know, I have to go back to solo for this one drop, but hey, who doesn't like Garter, right? Anyway, hope you guys are looking forward to me soloing or LSING or free for only the remainder of the LS drops which include all of the Saradominant and Warwick drops. God knows how long it's going to take me to get a Saradominant non-coin shared as well as coin shared, but hey. I apologize for not having screenshots of the non-coin shared GS shards, but if you want to know the truth, I haven't got a single shard in almost a year. I don't know what's happening to my luck, but I've had all the rare drops, even seen three Arma hilt in my lifetime, but I've waited so long for a GS Shard 2 to no avail. I'm sure in the time I have to wait to get the Sarah Hilt, I should get like 5 sets of all 3 shards. Which would mean I can complete my Armadil God Sword from scratch, and when I get the other hilts, I could swap them out with the blade. Hey, there's the Arma Hilt drop right there. I just ignored it until Kemen pointed it out la 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 la, loot chair for the lose. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this rather long intro to this new series, including the surprise cough troll cough drop at the end that went to Kemen yet again, not that I'm complaining since I've already gotten an Arma hilt. Please don't forget to leave feedback and even if you're not that keen to subscribe yet, give the video a like if you did like it, and just add a small comment, it means a lot to us. We need some indication of you scapers finding our content interesting or disinteresting, so anything would help, even asking your friends to check out our channel to boost our view count and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch y'all later.